Hi friends, we will understand uh, layout management in our ticket window. So there are two ways we can manage it. One is by grid and another is by pack. So we will learn the grid method first. In the grid method, this entire layout is controlled by rows and columns. The row 1, column 1 is the first left side and top area and subsequently the row and the row extends uh, downward direction it keeps on increasing 1 2 3 4 and column keeps on increasing towards the right we will code it now this is our basic window code we can just see once yeah this fine to this we will add uh, some components and place it in a grid so l1 is our let's say we'll take a label first label we have declared and my underscore w is the parent window where we are just declared it tab of second line now we will give a meaningful text so we can understand what we have used row 1 column is equal to 1 the top left top left position will say but this is only the display part ok now we will add it to a grid grid row is equal to 1 and column is equal to equal to 1 so these two will decide where we are placing it at the top left so let's run this you can see the display now to make it more prominent we will add some options here you can see our video on uh, label to get all the details of these options and what are the values it can get now let's say border width is equal to 2 relief is equal to reach and let's add some little bit font to really increase font is 12 now you can see the border clearly yeah this is what it look now we'll copy this add the second component copy it i'm pasting it here the second component i'm giving the name as l2 so text now i'll place it in row 2 this is a display part only nothing to nothing will change now here i'll make the change l2 grid row i'm making it 2 and column i'm keeping it same place only so this will be below the first one you can see the row 1 row 2 is there column so this is below now let's move it to the right of it to move it the right will maintain the same one and column will make it as 2 so for our display also let's change that one column is 2 so you can see that this is at the right of it but note one thing these numbers are relative these rows and columns even if you can start with 0 also it does not matter what it is it is a relative not the absolute value even you can make it 100 also let us make it 100 and see it will not change anything because it is a relative numbering which matters we will understand the alignments now we we'll just copied the code and pasted it here the same code now let us work on row 1 and column is again 1 so alignment if you are from the uh, if you know html then you understand vertical alignment horizontal alignment inside a table cell and all so we will in this grid system also will follow that so here i will just added a one more now little bit width i will reduce it this i will take it f name Now this I will make it L name, fine here, I will say that address with CT. Now intentionally what I am doing is increasing the width of the third uh, row, uh, third label. So this will row, row 1, row 1, row, this I will make it row 2 this I will make it row 3 and column I will keep the same column. So, one, o one o over the other will come and the third one will take more space. So, let us just see how it looks now. Sorry, here I have to make it L3. Right. So, now let us see how it looks. Fine. You can see that three labels are displayed F name, L name and this alignment will add to it now. Now, let us make it add a here we will may say sticky this is east west and north south so horizontal alignment will be east remember in that way so we will put put it e here now we will write it here also so we will understand what we have used in our text area now let us run this you can see it is shifted to east 
E now means right side it has shifted. Now let us change the first one, first one let us say sticky here we will say west or w here we have put in the bracket also we will write that w. So, we can it is for our understanding. Now, you can see where it has moved. You can see that f name has moved left and l name has moved right. So, this is how we will be aligning it west or east or left or right we can say and along with uh, our other grades. Next, we will understand how the vertical alignment will be. We copied the same code and pasted it here. To this, we will add one text entry box. The purpose of adding text entry box is to stretch the rows. Now, we will see that text in the same my window. Now, we will here use height is equal to 4. So, this is how we will stretch it. Now, this will attach to the grid. We will say that uh, this is for the row is equal to 1 and column is 2. It is to the right of our existing labels. So, now the same one we will just copy it, add one more. So, we will copy this and use it as T 2, height will same, here also we will say T 2, row, this will go to row 2 now. So, both, both the 1 and 2 rows we have vertically we have stretched. Now, for that we will see, let us see the output. You can see that because these two are now added and these are stretched also. So, these lines are changed, these lines are in the west and east, but their vertical alignment is you can see it is at the center, it is by default. Now, let us change that, we closed it, here we will change this to, now we will write it as n or north, this will change it to north, sticky is north. So, here we will make it to s and here sticky will make it to s means south. So, let us see it will how the changes are. You can see that this particular uh, label has gone up because vertically top and this one has come to south because because of these two the uh, width the height of the row has increased. So, the, this has taken aligned to the top and second one to the bottom. Now, let us add vertical and uh, horizontal both together. For that, we need to say, say with this one we want to take it to east side. So, we will say N E and this one, the second one we want to take it to west side. So, we will say W and here also we will say W. So, one is the text we are changing for our understanding and the other one is for sticky option, value of the sticky option. Now, let us see this. You can see that it has gone to north, it has top aligned and towards right. This is bottom aligned and towards left. This is how the all the for any four vertical or horizontal direction we can align the components.